So actually I know after doing a very tough job, particularly after lunch and having a on a sadhya. Anyway, so I know that uh, compared to our, compared to highly technical uh, lectures that you have heard during the last one and a half days, I will be talking on something uh, very simple, related to something simple topics, we call weather and uh, climate, but which has got an uh, impact on uh, almost all parts of our life. Uh, so friends, uh, you know that uh, the intergovernmental uh, intergovernmental panel on climate change, the IPCC, in its uh, latest assessment report published in uh, 2013 and uh, for previous reports during the last about 30 years has categorically stated that the climate has changed. I will come to all that the climate, what about uh, the basic, I will explain you. The climate has changed and it has been, uh, they, they have uh, shown with proof that this climate change is because of the human activities causing emission of a lot of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. The main worry is that because of the observed climate change and as we are expecting more and more emissions to happen in the future, mainly because the population is increasing, people are going behind the industrial, uh, more and more industry because people need a job and they have to be, uh, you know, uh, for uh, de develop, all the countries has to develop. So more and more industry are coming. So naturally, it is expected the emissions will increase and it also has been projected that during the next 100 years, the temperatures also will increase by about 2 degrees. So you can see here, this is the observed temperature change from about 1850 to 2010, 13. You can see it has been increasing and the increase during the last about 30 or 40 years is much faster than that. Mainly because the industrial activity was started during the about 30 to 40 years after the 1970s. And uh, this is the projections made by IPCC uh, for the next 100 years. So this is the observed and this shows the projected temperature change. These are under different uh, you know, scenarios. Scenarios means if you assume that emissions will be in the same as it is now or the rate of emissions will increase like that. So in all the scenarios it is showing that there will be substantial increase in the temperature and because of that the weather and the climate patterns of almost all part of the globe will be impacted. This already has been seen. There are large increase in the extreme events like the heat waves, floods, droughts, you know. And uh, this also uh, based on the prediction, it is also expected this type of extreme events to become more regular and more intense. As a result, always we have got a, uh, uh, and this weather and climate has got almost impact on all the sectors of the uh, you know, life. Therefore, uh, people are very, people want to know how to adapt to those situations. So therefore, a country like India, as in the rest of the world, uh, adapting to climate change is a complex change, a challenge, mainly because our you know, uh, population is increasing and the requirement for food and uh, you know, better uh, economic stability, all these are uh, because of this is a uh, challenge for all of us. Accurate and reliable weather and climate information are essential for assessing and managing the impact of climate change and for planning adaptation measures. Because this is also important because there are a set of developed countries and uh, developing countries. There is a huge, uh, you know, uh, interactions are going on, negotiations are going on. So if you want to put the, the case of your country with the developed country, you need a reliable data 
to project that whatever you said is not correct or this is what is the fact as far as our country is concerned and uh, so because that is how negotiation takes place and uh, you get uh, whatever right that the country can get uh, that can be projected in the global uh, uh, you know uh, in the in front of the developed countries so this is a big matter such information provided the basis for global regional and local climate models this also this data whatever that we collect also is a basis for uh, mod mod modeling and the predictions and uh, also this data whatever climate or weather data that you generate is the basis for uh, decision making for the government or uh, whatever in the higher uh, authorities now in this respect uh, the climate services can be defined as providing scientifically based information and products that enhance users knowledge and understanding about the impacts of climate on their decisions and uh, the action okay. now um, more detailly the uh, you know the weather or climate services means the accumulation of knowledge about the past the present and future of the climate system i will just define you what is the climate system means and then uh, development and delivery of a range of products and advice based on this knowledge about the past present and future climate and its impact on natural and uh, human systems these products are uh, the uh, you know as i said delivery of range of products like historical climate data sets climate monitoring climate patches monthly and seasonal decadal climate predictions climate change prediction etc so there are a lot of tailor made products has to be prepared and uh, ultimately the use and effective application of these products has to help to achieve the whatever desired result in uh, various sectors of the activities now my aim here is to explain what is the status of uh, the climate service weather and climate service in the country what are the latest development that has taken place that uh, in order to make uh, adapt climate change impact much better so those aspects i will be discussing and before that some something basic so that uh, based on that i can explain further uh, more uh, you know uh, informations and also i will present you about the uh, the model uh, you know climate services model globally what is the climate services model or uh, integrated climate information model and then based on that how is that uh, model in works in, in this country and what are the latest development now before uh, in order to explain the climate system i should explain you what is environment environment means everything around you physical chemical biological living or non living everything is a part of environment you are all a part of environment for as far as for me concern and uh, each one of you others are uh, around there then if you separate uh, you know separately each component separately like atmosphere human birds like that then you will find that you can again subdivide each of them into different components the climate system is one of the important uh, part of the uh, environment here the importance is that various components of the climate system like the human is a one component climate is another component each of the uh, components are interacting each continues and whatever uh, whatever changes occurs in one component they will have an impact on therefore on the other the climate change is an issue where the changes in the human activities that is we are emitting more and more greenhouse gases into the atmosphere that is making a change into the climate system so that is why we talk about climate change now what is important why we are worried 
Since the changes has taken place in the one of the component, the climate system, it will have impact on back on the another component, the human, because the climate change that has taken place in the climate system that has got an impact on weather and climate pattern around you. Because if the temperatures are increasing, what will happen? Uh, very much increase, very much even now, 2 degree means that globally it makes a huge difference. There will be impact on the agriculture, some of the agriculture you know that will reach a threshold value above which uh, uh, they will start growing much faster than earlier. It will reach a maturity early, maturity early means that it will not give you much yield, yield is going to reduce. And uh, if you have a large floods, you will have a extreme events like a huge floods and for a long time you have a truck type of situation and again another very heavy rainfall, then that will not be suitable for many of your agriculture activities. Many of the plants, uh, you know, categories will not be able to grow. There will be, uh, glaciers will be melting. Once glaciers will be melting, for example, in the country, uh, in our country, for the northernmost part, Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh, etc. During the summer time, whatever the water they receive is because of the melting of the ice or the snow, which has taken place during the winter. Now, assume that the temperature in the winter itself there is an increase and there is a decrease in the snow cover or a glaciers, uh, you know, reduced glaciers then there will be no ice or glaciers left in their region that can provide them water for their day to day activities. So then what they will do it? So like that it is not only in our part, many parts of the globe there is a situation like that. So that is why people are worried about the action. Now the climate system as I said, it will look like this. Climate system is defined as the five components in the geophysical system. The atmosphere is the important part and four others which directly interact with the atmosphere and which jointly determine the state of the atmosphere, the five components like atmosphere, ocean, land surface, etc. Now, the basic idea of taking the observation in the climate system is I need a three-dimensional picture of the climate. So that means I have to take globally every horizontal point observation and at the same time vertically also. So you need a sample of data regularly to get a three dimensional picture of this climate system. Now that will give you only a just like you know when you take a photograph just a one photograph means at one time this is the status of the climate system. Now if you want to learn about uh, the changes that is taking place in the climate system, what do you need? You need several those type of images. Now once you get that by preparing the physical equations that determines various atmospheric or uh, physical process or dynamical process in the atmosphere and once this equations you can convert into you know computer models and that type of models has to be run to get an idea about after one day what could be a climate system uh, after two days and like that people run this type of models for next uh, hundred years by assuming these are the changes likely to uh, you know uh, you get initial conditions uh, for first time and then when you predict for say after 5 minutes you get uh, the next uh, state of the atmosphere, uh, your climate system, use that as an initial state, make a prediction for the next, like that you can keep on integrate into any number of But if you want to do that, what do you need? You need an initial state of the climate system. Now it is easy to say simply I want an initial state but to prepare a data of that kind, it is a very 
huge job. Why? It is because in the earth itself, you know, about 75% part is the ocean. Now, where you will uh, going to prepare the observatory for this, that region? Which means that only 25% of area you can take observations. And then other 75, you have to do some type of other type of method, remote sensing method or ships, Argos, new new technologies are coming to take observation. And in addition to that, within the land itself, there are many areas which are having a civil war type of situations. Like you see now Iraq, Afghanistan and many areas like Africa, there is a big desert regions are there, you cannot go and take observations there. And there are areas where people are do not have any food to eat. So when you don't have a food to eat, who is going to take observations? They are struggling to just day to day uh, getting you know something food. If they can get, they are happy. So that means there are a lot of gap areas. So observation technologies has to be developed, are being developed, are continuously getting developed. I will be again looking for a better and better technology, remote sensing, satellite, radar. So I will be talking on that. So the idea is that by taking observation, you get entire part of the globe, three-dimensional picture of the climate system. That will provide you idea about how the climate system is changing and also make a projection of the climate system. I said a lot of climate, weather and uh, etc, etc. Basically, how do you define the weather and climate? The weather means, uh, many of you may be knowing that, still I thought that if uh, some of them are uh, not aware, just to explain because based on that only we will be continuing doing that all the explanation. It is the physical condition or state of the atmosphere at a given time and a place. It is like, uh, as I said, taking a flash of you know picture in the camera when you take a sudden picture and that time what is the state that is called the weather if you take the weather observations continuously for a several years you can prepare the climate of a, that place that means climate is nothing but the average of the weather for a Okay, so for that you need an observation continuously. Now climate change means if you have got a climate for 30 years, this is the particular uh, climate and after next another 30 years if you take what is the average weather, if there is a significant difference between this 30 year weather and other 30 year weather, then you call there is a climate change. But it is not uh, simply many people, uh, you know, out of, you know, uh, ignorance. They call uh, suddenly a flood or a heavy rainfall occurred, 15 centimeter, 20 centimeter, and the flooding. Then many experts they start calling it is a climate change. Nothing. It's not a climate change. Climate change should occur if those type of events occurs for a long period. Similar type of events occur then. Exactly, but a single event cannot be related to. Okay, so those type of uh, uh, you know uh, when you say that climate has changed or this event when you relate to climate change, this point has to be captured. Now these are all uh, uh, comes under what I said weather and climate information that is provided by the uh, the services agencies in each country. And in addition to this weather and climate information, another important uh, information is about the forecast. Forecast is the future weather or the climate. So the basically, the weather and climate informations can be divided into three, weather, the climate and the forecast. Now, example, weather means, for example, the Kochi. Um, you can see that August 26th, day before yesterday. The maximum temperature was 30 degree. Departure, it is from the normal. That means 1 degree means it was above the normal. Compared to climatology, that day temperature was 1 degree more. 
minimum temperature was 26.2 departure from normal was 2 degree that means that also was compared to normal higher than normal and the 24 hours rainfall was only 0 0.2 millimeter uh, centimeter uh, millimeter but you see that in the august climatology you get for the august month almost 400 millimeter during the entire month so compared to, uh, this this is called uh, climatology this bar diagram shows the in each month what is the likely expected rainfall therefore the difference between climate and weather is climate is what you expect in a particular time at a particular place when i come uh, i will visit kerala during between the period june to june, uh, september i should always expect a rain but that year when i came here in a particular day it was not raining that is the weather what you get therefore climate is what you expect and weather is what you get but climate is an average of so many events that does not mean that the climate was different because only that day was not raining but if you take several years every time when you visit during this period it would have been a and this also gives you a quick idea about you know if somebody want to visit Kerala uh, he wants to see that which is the uh, when you have got a least rainfall now you can see January February March December is the period when you have got a least rainfall so if you want to plan so this type of information helps you so people think why what is the importance of IMB only the forecast no this type of information every time you when you plan you can go to our website see the climatology what is the period okay many period uh, many people i remember i i know before they enter into the flight they just check if you want to go to delhi what is the likely weather there what is the temperature so whether you have to carry uh, something uh, you know it's a very cold or so those type of information actually helps you in planning that and even uh, you know plan the marriages many people they want to have a big ground i used to get a question whether in all 20 around that uh, whether it will rain or not so it will not be possible to exactly 100 percent correctly to predict but maximum possibility some of the occasions uh, yes uh, there is the least there is a very least you can worry or you can plan your marriage you know in that particular month because there is a least chance of marriage still risk is the uh, you you have to take risk even after doing that in that day particularly very rarely it can go to right but mostly so so most of the time it works but if you are unlucky it can happen but you have to take a precaution okay at the same time it can happen that in a very rainy season it may not rain there but he can take a precaution that you make arrange all the uh, whatever function indoor not to take a risk okay so those type of uh, activity you know day to day life it helps you some this type of information now about the forecast you can see that uh, the forecast given on august 26th almost up to first 27 to first of september um, thunderstorm with rain so one or other places in kochi always it will be raining in all the days so even when i come i am i came on 27 and i am returning on first so i was just checking what could be so almost every day it is a it is likely to rain. and this is the day to day forecast you know what you call short range forecast we also prepare the forecast uh, for seasonal so this is prepared on uh, may temperature forecast for june uh, july august september period three months average it shows that most of the country will have a above normal type of temperature so this type of information comes under the forecast now as i said how much time i have got uh, uh, up to three o'clock so I, I think i am going slightly slow because just i thought uh, you know in uh, basic has to be gone slowly now this is the typical uh, model for uh, integrated climate information system you have an all type of observation you can see that in order to get the three dimensional picture of the uh, climate system 
Uh, you have got ship observations, observatories in each part of the uh, you know every place. You have got satellite observations, and all the data has to be exchanged uh, through telecommunication, and it has to reach to one data center. So all type of observation, satellite, radar. Uh, so not only in our country, observation is taken all over the globe at the same time every day. and this observation is get exchanged mutually and everybody get within half an hour all the data in your data center so there is a type of uh, arrangement and uh, here you can see this is called regional uh, telecommunication hubs they all uh, collect from each region all the data and ultimately it comes to your local metropolitan center they prepare the forecast and uh, issue to the public and this forecast are being used by various sectors users in the Various. So this is the typical model. Uh, the components are observation system, telecommunication system, data processing and forecasting system, and uh, dissemination products to users. So each stage you will see that there is a huge data being generated, transmitted, exchanged, and then uh, they are all archived after quality check. And already you have got a database of previous data. You include it, update the data. use the data to generate the lot of information uh, some of the information are prepared in cyclically some of the uh, informations are just for uh, uh, not tailor made uh, type of information and this information has to be quickly transmit uh, you know exchange to the users take their feedback so this type of entire things together is called your uh, climate information system now my aim is just how uh, things are working in india you know generally these are the various instruments i will go quickly uh, uh, these are the various instruments used for generating the data uh, you have got even uh, i observations for clouds etc uh, the instruments are as of now very limited uh, also you have got satellite observations radar observations now what are the this component status of each of this component of the integrated climate information system in the country so that's what i am going to discuss now now these are the various type of number of observatories and type of observation that we take you can see the different observatories so every day almost each has got different frequency some of the observations are taken every 3 hours some of them are taken twice in a day so this is all information every day are collected only from the part of our country but similarly each country outside globally they collect and exchange to everybody now for example surface observatory you have got almost 203 surface observatories are manned by the department and non department 247 uh, automatic weather stations almost uh, 701 um, and uh, you have got automatic rain gauges uh, 1124 and for upper air data radio sonde radio winds they take observations to get a vertical profile and radar network as of now 29 weather radars are there after the 16s are uh, doppler weather radars who uh, is uh, the observation platforms for uh, ship, uh, you know in the ocean and you have a pilot balloon stations again to get the vertical profile of the winds uh, in the uh, you know uh, atmosphere now in addition to that radiation and ultraviolet uh, observatories um, um, for uh, particularly for aviation met office aviation services uh, there are 87 observatories ozone monitoring 10 uh, see like that uh, there are various observatory even aerosols are being measured uh, there are uh, instruments used for seismology for carbon dioxide measurement so there are se several type of observations being done almost every day and data is being now just i will touch uh, some of the important aspect of observation uh, which are important uh, i thought and uh, which are the latest development in this uh, field coming to satellite based observation as of now we have got a three uh, geostationary satellite kalpana uh, uh, launched on 2002 insat 3 at 2013 and insat 3d which was launched in 2013 all are only for meteorological purpose only they they are uh, different for uh, you know 
telecommunication entirely different or different type of satellite. This mean only for uh, uh, meteorology. These are the locations where these satellites are being uh, put. And there is another polar orbit satellite, what you call Megatropics. It is an uh, Indo-French uh, joint satellite mission, mainly to study the water cycle and energy exchange. The it's a particularly for a separate uh, project type. But otherwise, these three, they take uh, daily observations. You have an INSAT 3, two type of channels, uh, you know, uh, uh, instruments, VHR, very high radiation, uh, uh, resolution radiometer, under uh, visible infrared and water vapor channels. You can see these are spectral range resolution. Similarly, you have got a CCD uh, observations. Again, the three different channels. Kalpana, you have got only VHR uh, type of uh, uh, observations. Now you can see that each of these under this type of resolution, they generate data almost every half an hour. So this data has to be archived, stored, and whenever you need again recall the data, and you have got a pixel data, radiance data is different. Using algorithm, you prepare so many other products. You can think it's a huge data that has to be uh, archived and kept uh, for the future. Now, only coming to insert 3D, uh, for insert 3D, you have got six uh, what you call imager channels and uh, uh, almost 19 sounder channels to prepare various products, to generate various products. And these are the type of products, you know, generated based on uh, this data, outgoing long wave radiation, precipitation estimation, upper troposphere humidity, so many observations. As I said, you have got uh, you know limitations in the ground observation because ocean part is less. That is why this remote sensing type of uh, data is more important. Though there are some uh, limitations in the uh, satellite data also because as the satellite change, you know, you will have to make a separate calibration of the data. And even within the satellite, the sensors that you uh, use slowly they get uh, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's sensitivity reduced. So these type of issues are there, though. They are uh, very important and it generates so many type of observa uh, uh, products. Generally what it is being done is that there is a fixed uh, software program is being run, algorithm is there. So the pixel data comes as soon as come, this software generates all the necessary product continuously and there are wherever users uh, necessary that it goes and all the other products are getting saved or uh, whichever products are necessary for which users that is being uh, actually pushed into the as per the user. Now, these are the various uh, sounder products like mean uh, surface pressure, temperature profile, surface skin temperature and even the vertical profile of temperature, all these are being generated uh, based on this data. Now, uh, coming to the radar, as of now, uh, the entire country is not uh, being covered by the radar network. It is planned that by 2018, entire part will come under the radar uh, you know, observation. Once that comes, almost every weather or the cloud or uh, precipitation will be tracked by the uh, you know, radar and no, no weather system will be missed under uh, this network. And that national mosaic that will be prepared by uh, around 55 uh, uh, D, uh, DWR that can give you exactly location specific uh, forecast for next uh, one hour or three hours, etc. And exactly you can say which region of the city is going to rain, those type of things. So again, there are some limitations because if uh, there is a huge rainfall taking place in radar site, that radiations cannot, uh, you, know, uh, you cannot uh, get image further. So there are some limitations, but within that, you, you will see that there will be, uh, this type of forecast is called technological forecast that will improve. So that is the main idea of uh, having uh, this type of uh, remote sense uh, type of observation. So that is the another development. Now coming to another component, telecommunication. See globally you have got uh, uh, you know, different centers for exchanging the observation taken at uh, different places of the globe. Uh, this is the India and uh, this data being as soon as the observation is taken and put into the telecommunication uh, you know, line, everything that exchanged into different parts of the globe. 
even there are multiple lines that even if something gets uh, uh, not working there are another lines that will so there is a uh, very good telecommunication global telecommunication system uh, within the globe that can exchange this type of data in the uh, in the country also we have got a only for dedicated only for med purposes now uh, i will not go detail into that uh, so this is the uh, you know uh, our rph regional telecommunication hub we have got uh, connection with so these many countries we provide the data to this region and we also get back and they again uh, connected to different parts so that, that's why i said multiple lines are there even one line missing you will get data from the other line so you will never miss data so that has been uh, then properly and uh, being connected to different we also have to, to, uh, arrangement to collect the data instantly from all parts of the uh, country uh, even uh, when weather is very bad through the satellite uh, data transmission can be done not only that even products or uh, uh, information passing to the users that to the government collectors but during the time of cyclone enter communication system phase during the time all the information or the forecast is being transmitted to satellite to the <coughs> government officials uh, so that they can take a proper uh, planning or uh, actions in the australia <laughs> yeah only for meteorological data so this is a dedicated for yeah <coughs> yes yes everywhere okay some of them are uh, shared by ndma etc uh, national disaster management authority and they have got again separately information coming from various other agencies but for met we have got a totally dedicated ones especially uh, the see even the telic uh, as of now we have got a delhi one and uh, we have already taken again uh, taken action to prepare a mirror in pune during war or because of any you know uh, in any case natural calamity one phase automatically the other takes will take care of the charge they will take care so you will never miss any because for many purpose you cannot miss this type of data so uh, those type of arrangements are there also now this is about the climate data management we have taken so many type of observations from the globally and all the data is uh, dumped into you know a database already quality checked data is there so uh, you can see that from the glo gps global telecommunication system all the entire global data is coming from the uh, you know specialized data from the uh, satellite uh, radars and similarly observation within the country everything goes to the database they prepare the quality checks being a, 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 you know very standard quality checks are being done they are done and they get archive or combined with the old data and then there is a periodical reports has to be prepared you know how much data which is missing where the, uh, more error was there from which place more error are coming so so that feedback is being given and if there are uh, doubtful data quickly goes back to the station and they correct the data so those type of arrangements are there and also there are uh, you know standard production uh, some kind of report are being prepared that is being done say maybe every month month type of climatology that is being fixed actually so report will automatically will be prepared and ultimately this the information are uh, you know they prepare so many products and also within two or three years we are planning a web server uh, you know interaction with users where uh, those who wants to access the data they can go and see that this type of data how much data is available if you want to purchase you can purchase or also use those data manipulate those data to produce uh, some information that you like so those type of uh, being uh, now uh, under uh, process so there is a huge uh, because data being huge uh, planning has to be done uh, actually see frankly speaking i am not a very expert on uh, technical but uh, for this purpose we have got a web based separate uh, climate uh, you know monitoring system uh, based on sql that is only for so software uh, tools and uh, on the linux machine but i don't think that cloud means you may be having a so many uh, computer system no so that is not being done it's a big 
Uh, we have got a uh, huge funding gap. And I will just give you information what type of uh, you know, HPCS available in the country. Yeah, I, I, I'm coming to that. So I have got all that component part by part. I'll just. Okay, now you can see that uh, what is this uh, type of software audit does is that at a given particular time, from where and on what type of observation has come. So it will give you color this type of every hour. So this is gives you globally the hourly monitoring on 14th May, 15th May in 2014, from which are the part of the globe data has come. I get a quick data. If I found that some region not mis missing visually, I can uh, see that whether line has failed or uh, I can uh, tell them, report them that this so that report will be produced. It will go there. They will quickly send you back, and you can keep on yeah, tracking. Tracking global. Yeah, yeah. See, actually, if you want to run the model, as I told you, there are global models where you need a global initial conditions. The starting point is necessary. So you need a three-dimensional data of a globe. And this is being done by all countries. They also need our data. We need their data. Okay, so uh, this is uh, has to be. Now, similarly, there are uh, many reports uh, uh, in this uh, same system. You can see that uh, what type of instrument in a particular place, what type of instrument is used to generate the data, what is their climatology, if uh, you have got any doubt those type of catal similarly cataloging cataloging means if a particular one year particular day which are the observations of a maximum temperature from so many stations you get all so, the, so there are so many facilities within this uh, uh, pro system itself now coming to us uh, about the weather forecasting we took the data from various observations brought by uh, dedicated telecommunication system. Some of the data is archived, you need because you need a climatology. And then some of the data you have to prepare uh, by you know assimilate the data and prepare from the station data. Station means randomly here and there. That has to be actually converted to by objective analysis in a fixed grid. So there is a different uh, programs are there, different type of methods. Because in some places you have got less data some places in some day you may not get the data how to extrapolate interpolate so you ultimately that what do you call reanalysis data at every grip on horizontal grid and uh, vertical grid and that also depending on what type of forecast that you are going to generate you know uh, the thing is that that also depends on the how much computing power you have got higher is the resolution more computing power is necessary so many countries don't have those type of this thing and if you want to run for a longer period it will take more time if you're for a short range forecast two three days forecast you can go for a higher resolution for if you want to one month or three four months forecast you change that so depending on the requirement the data being prepared at what grid you know how resolution that you prepare that will be different so aspects are taken care by uh, for as per the and ultimately, this data uh, goes to for uh, you know we have got a numerical weather prediction uh, group. It goes to data to them. There are some now cast center. They have got a different model there, and we have got also a similar work is done in Pune weather center as a you know backup. And then uh, now cast they give to mainly to airport Met Office information because you need for every flight, every half an hour forecast. The, the time when uh, it has to land, you know, flight has to land, it asks you the ATS next to half an hour or uh, you know, within half an hour, what is likely forecast. If they say that it is a heavy thunderstorm, strong wind shear is there, nobody lands the flight. He takes away and to the nearby. And this is being done almost every globally. Similarly, there are forecasts for next 18 hours or 9 hours or also weather information. For example, if you want to go, say from Mumbai to New York, it takes around 14 hours or 16 hours. Now the pilot or the airlines, because they have to carry huge amount of fuel, planning has to be done. If I am unable to land in New York, he has to plan which is the next nearest 
because after reaching new york you cannot decide i am unable to land uh, so which is the next nearest he can't think on that because by the time your fuel is over so he has to plan that in case some weather problem issues coming he has to plan which is the alternate so many times it happens you have recently heard about thailand uh, you know the flight he purposefully uh, 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 you know uh, without uh, weather information was there he should not land but he took a risk and landed and entire people got away so many pilots they they don't do particularly uh, you know uh, those who are uh, carrying uh, civilians so they go to alternate uh, uh, place and then after weather is clear it comes so 18 hours after that what is the situation likely there because 18 hours be, now there is not any problem but after 18 or 14 hours there can be tornadoes or impact of cyclone so what uh, these people do is that either they will delay the flight many times you may uh, we may try that uh, this flight has delayed because of technical or other problem because they have to be worried because if you have only 2 hours travel from here to mumbai and mumbai is having very bad weather they will delay because that weather has to be clear if they expect within 2 or 3 hours it is clear then only they will take off so this type of unknown we don't know that what is happening but the background so many agencies are there working together so much of data is being exchanged because people don't want to make you worry see people if you get worried about what is the weather nobody will uh, you know uh, yeah purchase the ticket so it is everything being done in the background so so much of information it is not only forecast so much of information is being exchanged and being used for comfortable of the people okay now this is being even many times dissemination gives you central uh, state government uh, you may be remembering recently in orissa that cyclone in 2000 uh, i think 2010 or okay so it was done almost one week before itself it was said cyclone is going to hit and namin patnaik government he was almost uh, next election he was about to be lose you know because uh, that was the uh, way uh, but he did a very great thing in uh, controlling the damage of the cyclone and uh, it almost globally everybody appreciated not only the forecast the government the way the government has managed the collectors and the industry they could manage almost uh, because you cannot manage uh, the, you know loss of crops or buildings etc but you can save the life and they did that life and you will see that incidentally he got a so there are some you know proper action that was one of the now still world over they give an example of how properly you can give a forecast how best was the forecast and how the, it was being managed properly everybody talks on those type of okay so for that you have to do so much of work it is not that simply you give a forecast you need so much of observation models are coming interaction uh, Uh, you know various users government forecasters ndma all this work okay now these are the various type of forecast being generated and for different purpose even we generate from here forecast for antarctica because we have got a sender in antarctica we issue of make a forecast and send them every day uh, because uh, even to go out you know out of the station maitri they need a forecast whether it will uh, have a snow or uh, what type of weather so those type of information we regularly send to those centers also uh, various type of forecast even for monsoon forecast is a well known uh, uh, you know uh, we have got uh, uh, even this year you can see that how government is being uh, reacting to the uh, uh, deficient monsoon in the northwest etc and uh, it has been seen that uh, you know in recent 10 years if you compare the forecast of the previous 10 years the forecast also has improved because of lack of time i am not going details into that we also have got in addition to statistical forecast we also have got a dynamical forecast as i said climate models you can get uh, you know forecast uh, uh, for every grid point every 2.250 uh, kilometers and there are also models where you can get every 35 km uh, forecast so depending on the computer power 
In addition to the forecast for our region, we also prepare a, a forecast for uh, entire globe, you can see that. Entire uh, globe forecast is being generated. And South Asia, we have uh, uh, taken our responsibility to generate the forecast and given to the uh, all South Asian country. Last uh, five years, we prepare even for monsoon forecast for all this country and uh, provide to them. Okay. This is being now well accepted by our uh, SAR countries. And uh, for uh, SAR countries' purpose, so we prepare now monthly forecast of precipitation and rainfall next uh, four months and provide to South Asia. This is being uh, provided. This is experimentally being done. Uh, not uh, uh, operationalized, but this is being used uh, by uh, those countries. And uh, recently, as I said, Madam was asking what is the latest uh, situation. For monsoon purpose, very high resolution model is being run in, uh, uh, you know, in Pune, Indian Institute of Tropical Meteorology under monsoon mission of the ministry, basically to improve the forecast of the monsoon. As you know that, though there has been a lot of improvement, still we are very far away from the perfection. So, in uh, collaboration with international national uh, agencies, we are working on uh, improving very high resolution models and uh, these are some of the forecasts generated by this model for this year. Now, as I said, we also have got a very high, uh, very good high power computing system at various regions. This is uh, in New Delhi. So, I think that these details, you people may be much better to appreciate than me. I am not going details into that. Uh, very uh, specific information. This is FPCS in IMD and uh, IMD Delhi, and this is in IMD Pune, and this is in another agencies like NCMR, our sister organization like NCMR and Incois, Incois in Hyderabad, NCMR in uh, uh, Noida in Delhi, and this is uh, another agency, uh, our sister organization, Indian Institute of Tropical Meteorology in Pune. They have what? Uh, and this is being used by all these agencies together. This is the as existing. Now there is being a plan to upgrade within shortly. It will be commissioned. Already things has been installed. Uh, you can see that it is almost uh, one peta, uh, you know, uh, bytes is there speed and uh, very huge uh, storage memory will be uh, is there. And uh, thing is that. All the HPCS has been connected by the uh, uh, you know, by knowledge uh, NKN telecommunication network. So that the now idea is that we are not going to upgrade in other places. All computing system will be upgraded only in Pune. And once this is commissioned, this will be the fa fastest and uh, uh, you know uh, computer in India, super computer. And uh, people can through the uh, remote devices. So, uh, on that and even I think Kochi University also connected by NK. So, if you get a, a you know, enter into a MOU, you can actually make use of this computing system. Okay, this is just uh, based on uh, those information generated for public purposes and uh, you know one of the main uses being done for agriculture, this type of advisories that we ever we generate based on forecast, we send by SMS, there are various ways of uh, sending this information. You can see that uh, almost uh, every day based on uh, uh, with the private public uh, uh, participation more, almost uh, uh, 5.31 million farmers are being benefited. So whenever there is a bad weather in some of the part, those areas of the farmers get SMS and what action they should take regarding the agriculture. They, this, is, this happens, what, what they should do, those type of advisories is being given to them and through the SMS service. With the small fees, they have to pay to the private provider, but through the IMD, they get. Okay, I think uh, I have taken a little bit more time. Finally, these are the conclusions. India has a comprehensive weather and climate information system to observe and track the weather and climate as they occur. Exchange the data with the global community and analyze the global products. Understand the weather and climate changes and their origins. Initialize the model, predict the future development. Validate and improve weather and climate forecast models. Produce weather and user specific climate information for users such as agriculture, energy, fisheries, water resource. But the main challenges are observation and monitoring system must be strengthened. You need more and more observation also and existing has to be more strengthened. 
models must be further developed and uh, overall refined further improvement in the models are necessary so that's why i said uh, high power computing systems are being purchased for that uh, to make a better prediction enhance communication with the users this is the one of the most important thing enhance communication with the user community is needed to better reconcile user requirement and provider capabilities for the development of customized product because main reason is being you can see that the users of this information are fragmented in homogeneous user community because you have a thousands of users but uh, different and individual uh, requirements you need for agriculture you need for health different different uh, sectors are needed data at the same time there are different levels of knowledge understanding education like uh, there are those who are users are some of them are engineers some of them are researchers some of them are policy makers some of them are governments because their understanding is different so you need tailor made uh, uh, products and therefore the interaction with the users has to be increased that is the biggest challenge for us and ultimately to manage all the data and tail in preparing the tailor made products that would be the and finally the services must be sustainable and reliable you know similar for a same situation you should be able to give the same type of forecast sustainable uh, has to be there and technical regulation legal framework because some of the time uh, if you give a forecast you know what happens is they take it as a you have given a forecast they don't understand that this forecast is probability highest probability sometimes it can say earlier said, it can also go wrong so what is the legal type of this that has to be strengthened and uh, engineering standards uh, for making uh, observations uh, uh, sensors computing preparing the information because ultimately the decision makers depends on the information provided by you to make the decision they don't bother how you do but they has to believe your observation that has to be accurate observation means information whether it's a weather climate forecast whatever that will be the greatest challenge thank you getting the predictors becomes very tough so there is a dynamical you know and the statistical also one, the one of the important thing is that you need a long time series of data to prepare the model but in dynamical you don't need that and uh, you also get uh, regularly you can more prepare the forecast the high resolution forecast and but as of now statistical based as per getting a better skill as per monsoon forecast so we do both and also even it has been seen even when you generate the dynamical forecast you know, that has to be recalibrated by some statistical so statistics is going to play large role even what is like so many there is the forecast that's available online ah the report on online the forecast of the so many methods are take them as a part of your system but uh, believe me from where the observation comes to them do you think that they have got a globally observation and do they think that freely somebody will exchange that to them no you need a very different level and nobody is going to spend uh, so much money on a high power computing system and none of these people have got any model they do all uh, simply you know but our product generated by and freely available through the website the repackage it and it is just like you know you have got uh, from the market you purchase uh, very low price uh, wholesale thing 
and have a pack in a beautiful package and sell it and make money, make like a middle man. So it is up to you to believe, take a comparison, uh, a few days, don't go by package, colorful, red color, you know, bright colors, you go by the quality of No, you want uh, statistical? No, you know, dynamical or what you will call popular. It is the physical phenomena, whatever physics that you do for the dynamics, you have to simulate by numerical. So, even for equation of motion. No, no, not purchase. You have to write your own. There is a yeah, no, I am not talking about, a, it's not a IMD, I am talking about global community asset. So, you do not have a software, easily software, and not only that, what you have to do is that, you know, in the progressive equation, how much up to terms that you have to take when you make a numerical equation, it uh, depends on how much accuracy that you want to put, and also how much computing power you have. So that are not matters. So you will never, you know, people are only bothered about the forecast. Yeah. Tell me any field that the forecast is a hundred percent account. Tell me any field.